Here is NBC News Washington correspondent Robert Abernethy. Good evening. The northeastern United States tonight suffered its worst electric power failure in history. In the next few minutes, we hope to tell you in detail what happened and to pass on what little is known about why it happened. The year is 1965. The date is November 9th. The sunlight that showers the skyscrapers of Manhattan is fading into the twilight of night. Tonight, however, will be a brilliant full moon. You have just left your office after a tiring day of work and are looking forward to a relaxing subway ride and hopefully a wonderful dinner with the family. You take a quick glance at your watch. It's just a little before 5.30 p.m. You inwardly smile at the idea of catching a few baseballs in the moonlight with your kid. But just as that imaginary curveball lands in the glove, you hear a sudden squeal from the brakes as the entire subway train is plunged into darkness and grinding to a halt. The New York City Transit Authority estimated that 800,000 people were underground in subways when the train... Something has happened to the grid and the entire state has been subjected to a cascading power failure, trapping you and 800,000 others like you in the subway train, where you can't see the bright moonlight. All you can do is sit and wait. You didn't know it yet, but you were part of history that day. The Great Blackout of 1965 and the subsequently more significant Northeast Blackout of 2003, which left 55 million people without power across multiple states and parts of Canada, fundamentally changed the way society thought about the grid. It led to the formation of regulatory bodies to hopefully prevent such occurrences from happening again. Inevitably, with the creation of regulation, a series of industry-wide standards evolved into what we today call the Critical Infrastructure Protection Standards, or as they are more commonly called, the SIP Standards. What is SIP? After the 1965 blackout, an organization called the North American Electric Reliability Corporation was formed. NERC is responsible for protecting the power grid and electric generation of all of North America. Its job is to prevent things such as random blackouts or attacks on the power grid while regulating the system. They are also tasked with investigating the reasons for these blackouts and finding solutions to the cause. NERC was tasked with the creation of rules and regulations for the reliable operations of bulk power transmission. At first, the regulations were voluntary, but as with any rules with no consequences for being broken, not all utilities in North America complied. The subsequent massive blackout of 2003, which remains the largest in U.S. history, changed that attitude, leading the Federal Energy Regulation Commission to give NERC the power to legally regulate and enforce the standards in the name of safety and reliability. Thus was born Order 706, which granted NERC the legal authority to install a mandatory and standardized set of specific regulations. Order 706 was the blazing red-hot blank metal that the blacksmith could now forge something with a sharp edge. That blade was SIP. SIP's evolution was as steadily paced as the technology and threats that it was created to guard against. The more sophisticated and connected the systems across the United States became, the more need for less room for error began to creep in. SIP's net slowly expanded into nine different standards spread across 45 requirements. In addition, it has become increasingly necessary to form a protective moat, as it were, around our biggest substations. In the decades before, most utilities never thought they would need to protect high-voltage transformers from everything from curious birds to bullets to weaponized drones. As our hunger for new technologies grows and our thirst for instant communications and constant command and control never quenches, so too must SIP continue to match that furious pace. Virtualized computing, our increasing dependence on cloud computing and storage, and the protection of data on systems and networks that exist only in binary code lie on the horizon for SIP. So the next time you flick the switch to light up your backyard at dusk to throw a few curveballs to your kids, remember that multiple organizations like FERC and NERC 
are staffed with talented and creative people who forge that imaginary blade into SIP. Thousands of incredible individuals comply every day with regulations designed specifically to protect the various components of the bulk electric system. NERC described it best as tireless dedication by industry, stakeholders, and governments all aligned to work together to keep the lights on. And that is SIP. Stay tuned to learn more about additional standards for operations and planning of the BES. What is O&P? Coming April 18th.